All right, hello and welcome back to TCG Love. And as you can see, my pile of Ixalan products is here and half of that pile are Commander Precons. The plan is I buy six sets of Commander Precons. So each deck is six times in here. I sell five sets as singles on card market and usually it, uh, Commander decks sell for profit. So um, since I sell five for profit, I get the six set for free and can keep it basically. That's the plan. Will it work? It actually uh, works out more often than you might think. It worked out for Doctor Who um, and usually Commander decks do sell for profit if you sell um, every card as a single. Um, it's, it sells uh, more than what you pay for them. And today we will try. I paid 135 euros per set. So we need to make from five sets, we need to make 135 euros profit in order to get the last set for free and to keep for me to play some commander in the future. Um, okay, I have four decks here and each deck they're a little bit priced differently. If you buy them separately, not as a set, you pay 25 euros for this one, 40 euros for this one, 35 euros for this one, 52.5, no wait, I'm sorry, that's stupid. I, you pay 25 euros for this one, uh, 40 euros for this one, you pay 35 euros for this one and 52.5 euros for this one. I'm sorry, like I went in order of what it said on the website, not <laughs> based on the actual commander deck. So yeah, they sell a little bit higher. Um, if you pay, um, if you buy them separately, it totals to 152 euros. Um, but if you buy them as a set, you only pay 135 euros. And that's by the way, more or less the same for dollars. Um, that's the price on Games Island, where I buy all my products from, and it's pretty cheap there, uh, cheaper than the, um, most other sites that I saw. Uh, and Games Island is sponsor of this channel. They send me sometimes free products. For example, they sent me a, um, a collector booster box for this Lord of the Rings set, special edition. And I decided to take half of that booster box and do a giveaway for you guys. So um, I will be giving these six booster packs to you. Um, after I'm done with all the XLN stuff. Uh, the only thing you have to do to participate in the giveaway is claim the coins that will accumulate based on the value that we pull here today. And um, yeah, subscribe to the channel and be subscribed publicly as a setting on YouTube. Uh, you can claim the coins by leaving a comment under this video. You have time to leave a comment until the next video is uploaded. And yeah, then you have coins. The more coins you have, the higher the chance of winning in the giveaway. So claim as many as possible in the coming few weeks. So I want to uh, say big thank you to Games Island for sending me free swag um, and it really helps out with the losses that I do usually with big sets. Uh, I usually lose money on most Magic the Gathering sets. Doctor Who was an exception, but usually with a main set like Ixalan I expect to lose hundreds of euros. So I really appreciate the, um, the sponsorship and as a thank you, because without you guys I wouldn't have a sponsorship, I'm giving part of that sponsor, uh, sponsored product to you. So if you want to support me and support this channel, check the link in the description. There's a link to Games Island, an affiliate link. Um, that would really help me out. You can check out Games Island. It's a pretty nice site. If you decide to buy Magic the Gathering products, consider buying it there. It helps out a lot and I don't think you will regret it. They send out stuff pretty quickly and um, for cheaper than other sites that I saw. Uh, especially now since my products took a little bit to, um, to arrive. I um, checked other sites, how much they were worth there, and it's always way more expensive. All right, I will be quickly opening each um, each pack here and go through the cards afterwards. I will do a little edit. There should be a sample pack in here, and that's also a nice thing that I buy so many commander decks. I get a bunch of sample packs that I can also open in bulk. Let me quickly... I don't like this light here. All right, uh, I will do a little edit and afterwards I will be coming back and I will tell you which cards are worth something, which cards are worth the most in each deck and how much the whole deck is in total when you sell it as singles. All right, that way around, boom, and the last deck. Actually, what's in the, what's in this black? Thing. Yeah, I'll check now. I guess a deck box and the sample pack. Let's check out one of these. 
Okay, we got a deck box here. It's thicker, it feels thicker than usual. And a collector booster sample pack. Not sure how many cards in there, probably two, like usual. Like that. Like that. And like this. Alright, so this goes under this one. I'll try to keep the sample packs to the actual commander decks. Alright, so I have all four decks here. Now I'm really curious. I will go to a card market now. I will put each card up and see what it's gonna add up to. So will we make 135 euros profit from five uh, sets? We will see. See you in a second. Alright, so I put every single card up on card market and it took me a few hours, it took me a long time to sort all the decks, but this is the result. So, these are actually the decks that I will keep in the end, but uh, let's start with Blood Rites. And the most expensive card in this set is Exquisite Blood, which uh, costs 11.98. Uh, Charismatic Conqueror is 8.47. Uh, Blood Ghast is 3.67. Uh, Elanda is 3.24. Twilight Prophet is 274, dropped a lot by the way. New Blood 264, Masters, uh, Master of Dark Rides is 220, Pact of the Serpent is 183, Isolated Chapel is 177, Elenda's Hero Fant is 142, March of the Canonized is uh, 136, Blood Artist is 133, Blade of the Blood Chief is 1. 32. I'm only going through the ones that are above a dollar, by the way. Uh, Soren Lord of Innistrad is 131. Welcoming Vampire is 127. Uh, Dam is 116. And Cordial Vampire is 112. And then the rest is below a dollar. There's a few cards that are above 50 cents and the most, most others are below 50 cents. I put every single card up on card market. So if you want to see... Um, how much each card is worth, check the link in the description, there's a Google Sheet where you can see a list of every single card and how much I put it up for. So, as you remember, if you buy this deck separately, alone, on itself, it costs 40 euros. How much are all these cards added up on card market if they would sell right now? It would be 63 euros 50. So, huge profit from this deck alone. And by the way, already a little spoiler, this is the most that you get from either deck if you sell the cards even higher than Velociraptor even though Velociraptor is more expensive but uh, 63.54 it's pretty nice um, it's more than you pay for it so you definitely get your money's worth let's quickly open the sample pack and then move to the next deck as you can remember I paid like I bought the sets in sets so I didn't pay for this 40 euros I paid less because if you buy all four it only costs 135 euros uh, we got hulking raptor here and belligerent healing hulking raptor might be a dollar or two let's quickly check it and add it to the total hulking raptor if it's above a dollar I add it if not then not it's quite it's almost a dollar let's put a, a dollar on top of it here I'll put a six I put an extra dollar, it's 99 cents on card market. All right, so that deck definitely worth it. Um, let's go to the next one. Uh, this is Veloci Ramp Tor, and the most expensive card in this deck is Acroma's Will, which uh, sells for 983. Xenagos 509, Apex uh, Altisaur is 366. Chandra's Ignition is 324, Rhythm of the Wild is 39, Descendant's Path is 249, uh, Zakama Primal Calamity is 29, uh, Ripjaw Raptor is 179, Clifftop Retreat is 179, Wrathful Raptors is 143, Sign of Calamity is 133, uh, Progenitus Icon is also 133, Curious Altisaur is 129. Rishka's Expertise is 124, Runic Amasaur is 123, and Wayward Sword Tooth is 119, and the last card, Return of the Wild Speaker, is $1.09, and the rest is below a dollar, but still adds up to quite a lot. Uh, so check the Google link 
the Google Sheet link in the description for exact numbers. But yeah, I didn't go for the for the other cards, right? Uh, I didn't go for the other cards of the other deck. And that's the deck. So what's the total? Oh, by the way, I forgot. I could have. I didn't show these ones. So you also get a bunch of tokens. You get this hard plastic one. Uh, this also sells for a few cents. Doesn't really matter so much. And then a few basic lands. And the same for blood rights. Let me quickly find blood rights here. Also hard plastic commander. It's thicker than the other cards. And some tokens. And some basics. So, all right. How much is Velocity Raptor in total if you sell it? It if you buy it separately, if you buy it on its own, it's the most expensive deck of them all. It costs you uh, fifty-three euros or fifty-three dollars. Uh, but if you sell them on card market, the total adds up to fifty-seven fifty-six. So fifty-seven dollars fifty-six cents, a little bit more than what they uh, what you pay for. I don't know why this is the most expensive deck, to be honest. The cards in here, like the most expensive card is not even above $10. Uh, I understand if Exquisite Blood is like one of this, these um, high value cards in, in, a, in a deck, which would ramp up the price for this, but this one doesn't really have any of these high value cards, at, uh, unless maybe this one dropped in price in the last week where I couldn't sell it. And maybe this was a top card and then it dropped to 10 bucks. But yeah. Uh, it, it's still profit, it's still worth it, definitely, uh, but uh, it doesn't give so much profit, which is of course also fine. And now let's check what we get in the sample pack. We got Subterranean Schooner and we got Captain Storm. I don't think either of those are worth anything, I'll check the Schooner. Subterranean Schooner Extended Art, 75 cents, it's below dollar, I'll keep it for now, outside the list. Okay, moving on, Ahoy Mates is the next deck, and this one, if you buy it separately, costs, it's the cheapest, 25 bucks for this one, uh, you can, you pay 25 bucks for this one, uh, but Black Market Connections is in here, and that's the most expensive card in the whole set, and it costs uh, you can sell it for $14.50. So more than half the deck is only from this card. And we go further. Pitiless Plunderer uh, sells for $4.74. The Grim Captain's Locker, $2.77. Herald's Horn, $2.76. Vanquish, uh, Vanquisher's Banner, $2.69. Broadside Bombardiers, $2.34. The in Dominatable 144, Blasphemous Actus 139, Port Razor 134, Skeleton Crew is 133, Blood Mine is 131, Time Stream Navigator is 129, Sulfur Falls is 129, and Prismari Command is $1.09. And we go further with cards that are below a dollar. This is the rest of the deck. I'll quickly go through it. Again, check the Google Sheet for exact numbers of every single card, if you're interested. Usually I don't sell cards below 10 cents, this time I just put them up and I will see how much they sell for. It does add up to a few bucks. Alright, how much is Ahoy Mates in total? So you pay 25 euros for it, if you buy it separately, but if, when you sell every single card you get 54.78 euros back, so 55 bucks almost. That's insane. That's the most profit from any deck and helps me really out a lot. Let's see what this pre-release pack will give me. If this pre-release pack is also super high value, then this was the best deck of them all, even though it's the cheapest if you buy it. We got Restless, Rich Line and Ni Kanzil. Man, the foiling is beautiful on this one. Look at this. I love it. Beautiful. Uh, this one isn't worth above a dollar. Well, actually, it might be worth above a dollar quite a, a little bit. I'm not gonna look it up, whatever. One dollar more or less. Let's go right out to the last deck, Explorers of the Deep. And this one costs 35 euros when you buy it separately. And the most expensive card in this deck is Ripples of Potential, which 
Salesforce 733, Branching Evolution 729, Kindred Discovery 397, Metallic Mimic 363, Tasa God of the Sea 254, uh, Komena uh, Tyrant of Or Ratsatka 199, uh, Rapid Hybridization 179, Hinterland Harbor uh, Salesforce 173, Realm Walker 152, Hardened Scales 144, Sing of Swift Rivers 129, Master of Pearl Trident 129, Wave Goodbye 124, uh, we got Xalo Toyak. Uh, for one dollar and ten cents, one euro ten cents. Reliquary Tower is one uh, euro and eight cents, and then the rest is below a dollar. Let's go for these beautiful cards. I do really like the artwork on these decks for some reason more than in previous Commander decks. Especially the Velociraptor it looks so much fun to play. Maybe that's why it's so expensive because it just looks awesome. All right, some lands, and that's it. Of course, the same with the hard plastic commander, some tokens, like that big token here, and some basic lands, also part of that deck. All right, so 35 euros if you buy it, how much when you sell it? 56 euros and 11 cents, uh, again, Huge profit with this one. I'm really surprised that the profits are so high because uh, it's already a week after pre-release. If I would have got these decks during pre-release, man, I can't even imagine how much more it would add up to. But let's see what the pre-release pack gives us. Uh, the sample pack Magmatic, Galleon and Zoyava Lava Tongue. don't think that's worth anything, right? If it's anything huge, I'll add it to the list. But Magmatic... These ships are usually not that high value. Yeah, 15 cents. Pretty cheap. Pretty cheap ship. All right. So now comes the interesting questions. Uh, question. How much is the total? So as you remember, I bought six sets of them all. I will keep one and sell five sets. Uh, I opened all these five sets already and I already sorted all the cards here to sell. And put them up all on card market already. As you can see, it's it's a lot. If I calculate everything together, um, we go to Blood Rights. That one um, sold for 65 euros times five is 443. So let's calculate it quickly. 443 for five times this deck. Oops. Plus Velociraptor, uh, 56 euros, sells 4 times 5 is 400, plus 400. Ahoy Mates, 45 euros, if you sell it, plus 5 is 370, uh, 380. 380, plus Explorers of the Deep, 56 euros if you sell it, times 5 is 391. Like, I, I skip the cent amounts, right? And I round up here. In total, if I sell all five decks, they will sell for the current price that I put them up for. Uh, remember, the prices will drop for uh, um, cards while they sell. Some people will undercut me and then I have to undercut them again and the prices will uh, drop a little bit in the coming days. But if they sell theoretically for this price, I would make, uh, I would get 1,600 euros 615 euros. 1,615 euros uh, if I sell um, these decks five times. I paid, let me quickly see how much I paid for six decks. Ah, now it's going to load forever. Mm, 1,600. I paid 135 uh, for each set times six. That's 810 euros. So 1,615 minus 810 euros, that's 800 euros profit if you do it like this. That's insane. That's insane. 800 euros uh, minus the deck that I will keep, minus 135. I get a free deck and 600, uh, 670 euros profit. 
Can you believe that shit? I can't believe it. Um, of course, the price is it's not going to end up being 670 euros, but it's also not going to be much less, I think, because I can give you a good example where it worked out pretty nicely. It worked out pretty nicely with Doctor Who, uh, where I did the same thing. I, I bought eight Commander decks and sold seven and kept one set. And for that set, let me quickly check how much the Commander's so I paid a thousand one hundred euros for all four, uh, for eight times all commander decks of Doctor Who. The prognosis was two thousand nine hundred, so three thousand. I did end up selling it already, like all the cards that already sold. Uh, I still have a bunch of cards to sell uh, that already sold sold for a thousand six hundred forty six. So I did already make five hundred euros profit with Doctor Who. Um, minus, of course, the, the deck that I kept, so 500 minus 157, 343 euros. I made 343 euros already uh, in profit from doing the same thing with the Doctor Who set. So I have high hopes that it's a few hundred euros for this one as well. It's not going to be 670, of course, but still, you get a few, a few hundred euros profit and a full set of free commander decks, and I think that's... I don't know. That, that's insane. I hope it works out. But you can follow that progression in the in the Google Sheet. Uh, as I said, I have every card there, and when the card actually sell on card market, I will add it in the Google Sheet for how much they sold for, and then of course in my overall Google Sheet you can see how much basically what the difference is between um, paid and sold again. So you have all the overview, you have all the transparency of how much it's actually going to sell for in the Google Sheet below when you check it out. So yeah, that's how you get a free commander set and 600 euros in profit. I don't know, that's um, pretty cool. Uh, I'm happy about this. That's going to help me out a lot by um, kind of balancing out the losses that I will probably do with all the other uh, draft and set boosters and collector boosters. Uh, it's gonna help me out again very much. So I'm happy that uh, I can get a few hundred euros here and there back um, Doing this and I will definitely do it the same with the next set and the next set these commander decks as I told as I said usually really um, Valuable you can usually sell them for more than you actually pay for them uh, If it's close to release if they are older, it's gonna be harder. There were a few commander decks where I uh, lost I have a bunch of videos of all uh, all kinds of commander decks in my YouTube history. Nobody watched them when I actually uploaded them. It was like Innistrad commander decks and Kamigawa commander decks and Yuka Pena commander decks, all, all that stuff. Uh, I uploaded a bunch of videos with commander decks. Uh, some were losses, some made profit. So yeah, um, this time it went pretty well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, claim these coins. I'm not sure how much they add up to um, by leaving a comment and these coins will help you with the giveaway, of course where I give away these six booster packs, collector booster packs, for a lot of the rings. So claim these coins, claim as many coins as possible until that giveaway. It's gonna happen after I'm done with Ixalan, with all the Ixalan stuff. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And um, you need to be publicly subscribed. Basically, you need to enable public subscription on YouTube um, to participate in the giveaway. So I know that you've subscribed, otherwise I don't have a uh, way to tell if anybody subscribed or not, but yeah. Uh, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. I have a bunch of sample packs now. That's only half. I have twice as many that I will also open in the video. Let's see if there's anything fancy in here. I mean, the sample packs add a little bit value as well on top of it all uh, again. So that's pretty nice. It's a little bit bonus uh, value. From all these commander decks, but yeah. Uh, so the next video is gonna be uh, a few bundles, I think, but we will see. So um, subscribe to see that and have a nice day. Till next time.